Hey guys, it's JL Digger. Uh, I'm back in here at the 1883 house. Uh, I'm working my way down the down the side of it now. Uh, I guess it used to be a flower bed or something like that, but just got a signal wasn't hardly maybe an inch under the ground. I got a 1900 V nickel. It's actually in really good condition. I can read Liberty. Back up. Should clean up real nice. It's a 1900. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, guys, right beside where I found the V nickel, I just found a really neat buckle. Probably two feet away. It's got the hook on it. Cool find. See if I can find anything else. Okay, guys, I'm working my way down this little uh, old stone sidewalk, which leads up to the side of the house. I just got a, looks like an old belt buckle. It's got like a, I can't really tell what the pattern is. The flower, or, I don't know. But you can see where the hook was. It's pretty cool. It was actually underneath that stone. I had to lift the corner up to get it. Alright, I'll keep going unless you know if I find anything else. Okay guys, I just got a 0143. Uh, ends up being a, a range guide. I think I'm getting close to where there's an old barn. So I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay guys, uh, next item is a, a lantern part. Uh, I think I should be able to get a date off, patent date or something off the end of that. I'll have to clean it up and check, but it still turns. I'll keep that one. Alright, I'll keep pushing on here, see if I can find anything else. I'll let you know. Okay, guys, just uh, got a good signal here. Literally half inch below the the leaves. Just got a. Uh, Nineteen forty three Merc, excellent condition. All right, I'll let you know if I find anything else. Hey guys, welcome to the roundup. Uh, got out for a short, short hunt today, uh, a couple hours, but had some interesting finds. <clears throat> Found a, a complete lantern piece. That's probably the best one I've ever found. But thought that was pretty neat, and I'll keep it. And I think, I think this may be another piece to a lantern. Not sure. It wasn't too far away from where I found that. Uh, I found a old pocket knife. Found the other half of the handle. It's pretty old and crusty. Uh, this piece here I thought was pretty neat. I don't know what it was, but <clears throat> has a has a guy on the front of it. And still has some paint left on it, but not sure what that was. The old spoon. Uh, nice range guide. <clears throat> I did find a a really neat belt buckle. I think it's a ladies has flower design on the front. But it was pretty neat. Then another buckle. I think maybe it may have been a shoe buckle. Not certain on that, but it still works. But really thin but I believe that's what it was another little buckle and I did find a ring I didn't know until I cleaned it up but it's just a brass ring <clears throat> smashed flat a little bit of gold gilt left and the stones missing but it seems pretty old and the mason jar porcelain some kind of a reed uh, just some of the junk down here nails and I think I may have found a part to a gun I'm not sure but that looks like the piece like a trigger guard the trigger would have been in front of that not sure but I believe it might be yeah some bits of lead and something else pretty interesting 
it is Halloween and I dug this and it's for roses and it's Halloween roses thought that was cool but found a couple of those but and on the coins I found uh, clad not too much just a quarter um, two copper pennies one zincan and a, a clad dime but the good coins I found uh, really nice 1900 V nickel you can read Liberty I'm gonna clean that up some more it'll probably clean up found that and right at the end when I was walking out I did find a really nice 1943 Merc nice detail on that but anyway that was the hunt for today and I might try to get out tomorrow and try to get another hunt in but thanks for watching good luck out there and happy hunting